The Nikon Z92 is generating considerable excitement, with rumors suggesting it might feature a global shutter. This potential addition could position the Z92 as a strong competitor against Canon's upcoming R1 and Sony's A9 III. Nikon is clearly aiming to deliver a high-speed, high-performance camera that could make a significant impact on the professional photography market. Let's explore what we know about the Nikon Z92 and how it compares with the Sony A9 III, which is likely to be its closest rival. Nikon Z92, what's new? The Nikon Z92 is anticipated to be an advanced version of the Z9, featuring a 20.4 megapixel sensor and a readout speed of just 0.4 milliseconds. The rumored global shutter could be a major upgrade, addressing the distortion issues commonly associated with rolling shutters when photographing fast-moving subjects. This would make the Z92 especially appealing for sports, wildlife, and action photography, where capturing sharp, undistorted images is crucial. Another notable feature expected from the Nikon Z92 is its flash synchronization speed. It is rumored that the camera could sync with a flash at up to 1 2,000th of a second, which would be a significant advancement beyond the capabilities of most current cameras. This feature would benefit studio and fashion photographers who depend on precise flash timing. The Z92 is also likely to be powered by dual Xpeed 7 processors, although Nikon might already be testing the newer Xpeed 8 processors. This dual processor setup would offer impressive speed and performance, enabling rapid continuous shooting and smooth 4K video recording. The release of the Nikon Z92 is rumored to be around late 2024 or early 2025, so an official announcement will be awaited. The comparison the Nikon Z92 and Sony A9 III are both designed to deliver high-speed, professional-grade performance, but there are key differences that might influence your decision. The Nikon Z92 is expected to come with a 20.4 megapixel sensor, while the Sony A9 III features a slightly higher resolution 24.6 megapixel sensor. Both cameras are rumored to include a global shutter, which should help reduce distortion in fast-moving scenes. However, the A93's higher resolution might offer a slight edge in terms of detail. In terms of continuous shooting speed, the Sony A93 stands out with a capability of up to 120 frames per second, which could give it an advantage over the Nikon Z92 if extreme shooting speed is a priority. Flash synchronization is another area where the two cameras differ. The Sony A93 offers a remarkable flash sync speed of 1 80,000th of a second, potentially surpassing the Nikon Z92's rumored 1 2,000th of a second. For those who rely heavily on flash photography, the A93's superior sync speed may be more advantageous. When it comes to processing power, the Nikon Z92 is expected to use dual Xpeed 7 processors, providing robust performance for both shooting and video recording. The Sony A9 III, on the other hand, features the Bion's XR processor, which has demonstrated strong performance in Sony's top models. Both cameras are expected to offer exceptional capabilities, though their real-world performance will provide a clearer comparison. Choosing between the Nikon Z9 II and Sony A9 III will ultimately depend on your specific needs. For those deeply invested in Nikon's ecosystem, the Z92 could be the ideal upgrade. Conversely, if you need the fastest shooting speeds and superior flash performance, the Sony A9 III might be the better option. Both cameras are poised to set new benchmarks in professional mirrorless photography, offering impressive features for serious photographers. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.